Um, as far as like my own work and thinking about these things, um, you know, this, as the, as the name of this series is the alone together, you know, it's an incredibly isolated and, um, potentially, you know, it's, it's, there's the potential to really cut and sever ties with your culture, with your community, with your society. Um, I think it's very easy to just sort of borrow down into your, into your hole and say, well, I'm protecting me and my family and my thing. And we're just, that's it. Um, and I think there's a real danger to that because you really do need to continue to reach out, um, and connect with people. Um, it was this really cathartic experience having that first, um, virtual meeting. And just, I mean, one of the first things we did is I just had everyone unmute and we just collectively listened to the backgrounds of what everyone was their their environments their sonic environments um you know you heard the birds chirping on the one hand you heard the sirens moving in the other hand and um uh it was a a, a way to be connected to people that i think is really important to maintain um i think it's going to be you know it is it is challenging to find ways to keep connecting people Right. That's how society moves forward is by sharing experiences, by connecting people and having an awareness of other people's experience in life. Um, and so, you know, as, as, as best we can incorporate those things into our work, into our lives, you know, I think the, that, that's where we that's where we make this thing work. We might have to quote you on that. Sew it into a few. Uh... <laughs> Do a few pillows to <laughs> and then they're <office. laughs> You need to hug the pillow of connectedness. 